All righty. Hello, hello, everybody. It's been a hot minute. Couple weeks. You know, it is what it is. We're back. <laughs> We're back. And that's the important thing. Hello! Uh, Azure Cena back with you here again, and we're doing some Derail Valley today. Uh, we're getting back on the train ordeal. You looking okay green screen wise? It's a little bit... we a little pasty today. I think it's the exposure that's having a moment, but that's okay. It is what it is. Yeah. Ooh, uh, anyway. Hi! <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, we're getting back into Derail Valley today. Uh, we have a long slog ahead. Oh, no, wait, let's see. I have 238,000 bucks sitting in the bank right now. Looks like maybe it's okay. We're not like that far behind. Uh, the goal, essentially, is to try to get uh, military trains unlocked. That's like the final, the final real deal uh, commissions that we're going to be doing, or like the the type of hurt runs that we're going to be doing in this game here. Supposedly super profitable um, from what I've heard. So, should be pretty basically the end. And then we kind of just monkey around with trains and everything from there. So, and so let's see. Flip this over. Chill. Oh, what the frick? Oh, I picked up a basket. Uh, there we go. Okay. Uh, Alright, so let's just take stock of our situation here. Yeah, we do indeed have $238,000 sitting in the wallet. Hunky dory. Crank that up a little bit so that way you can actually hear it. Beautiful. Okay. There. Cut. No. Not louder. Okay. Step serve it spicy, so we'll turn that down. Uh do we have any jobs with us on hand? No, we do not. That's fine. Just the question is Do I know where I parked the trains? Then we'll be back in, uh, back in the depot over there. Team locomotive, we got the DM3. DH4, that's helpful. We got a DE6, so we can link the DE6 and the, eight, the, uh, the DH4 together. I want to go start working on things. In fact, let's go ahead and get that linked up now. Well, so let's go. Turn table housing over here. That sucker. And slide it in place. Be all set. Let's go ahead and um, back on that side. Then. Right. That's, that's cute. There's like a little door down here. It's, uh, it's not functional. That's okay. Um, Alright, so let's go and flip our breakers on because the starter is back here, yeah? Power. Let's remember how to play the game. Uh, there we are. Let's go ahead and flip the breaker online. Turn on the electronics. Turn on the starter. There we go. Let's set X. There we go. All right. Uh, let's give it some lights. Ba -ba -ba -da -ba. Okay. Take the handbrake off. And 
give her a nice little cranky crank. Morning to you too, jeez. Alright, uh, let's see, how are we doing? Fuel's good, oil's good, everything like that looks honky dory. Alright, uh, we're going forward. And we will take the brakes off. The brakes are already off. We're good. And let's give it a little bit of power here. Alright. Sit on down on the there. Brakes. There we are. Uh, one on down, and we'll move it over two positions. Turn this sucker by hand. Alright. All right. We'll go back and throw it back. Pick the brakes off. And. Bunch of throttle here. And me back it up to the DH4. Link the brakes together. Put oh, the coupler on at first, too. Cut back. Go. Got power and linkages all set. Now let's go ahead and the MDU. Right now it's off, that's okay. Let's turn the breakers on. Got power. Turn the handbrake off, and we'll go ahead and give her some cab lights so we can see what we're doing in here. And I may have already mucked it up because I'm not going to be able to pull out, right? Crazy. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to be able to pull out. I need to get the D6 out first. Then to get so all right, pepperoni. Uh, so let's take you off. You off. Pick that off. Pick that off. Back to you and proceed, Daisy. All right. Okay. Got the lights. Uh, dash light. Cab light. There we go. We are no longer blind. We love it. Let's pull back forward. service point, right? It does. Alright. Give it a break off. Let's give it some gas. Up. A little 
this down. Bring this back around. Come on, no. Come on. Come on. here. Two bar. Nice little, nice little smooch. and jets up below the sea. Oh god. And break this off there. Take the train break off, individual break off. And if anything, we can now use this as a uh, that we're all linked together. We can turn that off, save fuel. And uh, we can use DH4 to move around. But in the meantime, before we get moving, let's go and actually get some jumps to do. Okay, do we leave fences? Alright. Okay. Let's see. Uh, oh, crap ton of these. Currently, I need to refuel locomotives. Cool. There we go. Okay, done. See so, ya? Yeah. Alright, so what we got? Uh, logistical holes we don't have yet. That's 20 grand. We could totally pick that. We could pick that up. But it doesn't really do much for us. Because the logistical holes are just only empty cars around. Uh, I suppose I can unlock it just for giggles. Uh, but, 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 well. See, here's where the real salt is, so the... Let's see. Don't have hazmat 2 yet. We have hazmat 1, we got pretty much everything else so far. We don't have the big steam locomotive unlocked yet. Um, so let's just go ahead and grab a logistical haul, I guess. Let's grab. I can now do logistical. 
All right. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. We can hold off on this. There. What's my wallet looking like? We can. Uh, so realistically, we can actually pretty much buy military right now. Okay. Grant you access to logistical hall orders based in restricted military zones. You don't have to carry less than the DC of Sword War. Eat. Uh, okay. Well, did that open up anything special for us? It looks like it actually did. There's, uh... What the heck is that? I don't think I've seen that before. Uh, oh, there's military base up there. All right, looks like, uh... Yeah, it's military base. Okay, cool. And what the heck are you? Oh my, oh, okay. That's, I guess that's been here for a while then, unless it's like brand new to the map or I've just never seen it or... Uh... Huh, all right, cool. Well, in any regard, um, oh. For you. Seven zero. Oh, apparently there's a locomotive out on the rails already. It's at the end of those tracks over there. Oh. <laughs> I already have this train sitting here hanging out. I guess this is probably from the fuel run that I probably brought. Uh, so that's hilarious. Okay. So I don't need to take a train out of the, uh, out of the roundhouse. Top notch. Alright, well anyway. Uh, let's see. Uh, unload and store train with alcohol. So yeah, so that's literally the train I brought in uh, a bit ago. Uh, so sure, we could take that with us, and then train, drop off and store train of alcohol. That's another has matter. Let's sort it, shall we? A shunter. Hunter. The halls can sit over here. Argon. Only that requires hazmat three, so I can't actually do that one yet. Uh, and that requires hazmat two, so I can't even do that one yet. So let's put that there. What can we do? I can do you, potentially. Set it in the back. Set that in the back. Oh boy. Do that one. That one. Uh, another big long shunter. Bounce. Awesome. There's another big shunter. Hazmat 2. I can't do that one yet. Shunter. Up, 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 up. Deliver gasoline. That's a long ass train. That's some serious. That's some serious camp right there. Um, that's hazmat two, can't take it. That one. There are multiple orders with alcohol, it seems. Enter. Up, 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 down, oh, gasoline. And there. Order shunter. So, 
All right. Uh, so let's see. Unload and store train with alcohol. School twenty two hundred bucks, and then there's another one. There's a few different trains. They're both decently long. That's fine. We can handle that. So that in and that in. All right, so let's take a look at this first one. Uh, we're going to be picking it from Golf 5 India. So. Golf 5 India, it's probably the other thing that we just brought in. I bet you. Right. And then where is it going ultimately? Early three, get stumps and then it's brought to six. Okay. Get moving. Five. India. Uh, yep, it's gonna be literally the train that we brought in. Cool. Alright. So let's see what the distribution's gonna be like. We're gonna be uncoupling 830. Some end. She chugging. And super chugging. Uh, forty two. So it's just all the way to this guy. But we're going to be unloading this entire take a boodle. So let's go ahead and get you fired up. All the fuses are ready to. Oh, that's not cool. Let's the brake on. Let's go check the other brake on you. That brake on. No. Let's go ahead and link train up there. Go brakes. Brakes. Got pressure equalized. Already already linked together. There we are. Love to see you. Okay. Let's go ahead and start this guy up. And let's figure out what our pathing is going to be. So we're going to be backing up. We're going to be backing out of harbor. Down that way. Yeah, so we can just straight up back up. Um, so let me pull out remotes. And... Parallel locomotive. Good deal. Alright. Get there, we're all linked up to the locomotive, so now we can go all the way down. Sit on the end of it here. And let's go ahead and give it a whirl. Pushing, we're pushing. It would be good to ride this basically all the way through the junctions and back around into Charlie. And then Charlie 3 Lima is going to be to the right as we come in.
is, it looks good. Um, just check on CPU, GPU, all that jazz to make sure we're good to go. Cruising on back here. Should have a good amount of momentum. We're just going to basically ride this all the way over until, uh, until we get to the C junction. Next one right up here. Let's go ahead and flip that over. side there. Basically just let it coast on in. Anna! Thanks for the hydrate. Appreciate it. Knock, knock, who's there? How's it going, Hannah? It's you who? <laughs> awesome. Going fine. Glad to hear it. It's going pretty, pretty keen on my side. Nothing really to complain about, you know. It's you the best. <laughs> Thanks, Hannah. Appreciate it. But yeah, nothing to complain about, really. Uh, fun little kind of challenging, complexing day to day work wise. Uh, just troubleshooting some issues with uh, some of our location. Our location stuff, but um, but otherwise, not really too much to complain about. Uh, it's pretty fruitful, and uh, mostly just chilling. And figured I'd do some train stuff to to wind down the day. I feel like the exposure on the webcam is like a bit much. Let's tweak that real quick while the train is casually rolling. Uh, exposure. Let's copy you down to like here. Oh god, it's not really that, is it? Oh. Close enough, it works. <laughs> I don't know. I might play with the color. Yeah, I might play with the color stuff later. But uh, but yeah, hope everything is well with you. It's going just fine. I hope you had a lovely day wherever you are. Shoot, I got lagged. Oh, okay. 
Sorry about that. Uh, what were you saying? Oh, not much. I was just checking out my webcam real quick and seeing uh, if there are any trying to turn down the exposure on it so I'm not like pasty pasty. Um, train break apply. Yeah. Not to complain about the day. I figured I'd just chill and work on uh, some train stuff. Yep, that's all unloaded there. Let's go ahead and race all the way back up to the front. Looks like just chill up here on the front. And uh, what is this game? So this is Derail Valley. It's a train simulator. Um, a pretty realistic train simulator uh, for all intents and purposes. Uh, so this is a D6 locomotive, a diesel electric. Um, it's the... Excuse me, sneeze is coming. Jeez. Okay. <clears throat> this is a electric locomotive. It's one of the best ones in the game. Uh, it's the most powerful engine. Uh, but you can sit down here in front of it, and you have like the real, the realistic controls like throttle and reversers and uh, brakes and all that jazz. Now you got the horn, loud train noises. Uh, you can check like the brake pressure. You can check the tachometer and fuel gauges and all that stuff. Um, and uh, you have a fun little map to explore. So there's here's the world. Oh, jeez. Here's the world map here. Um, basically, right now we're in the harbor down here on the bottom right. And uh, I'm just doing a shunting mission. So we have uh, this uh, this long train of fuel cars that we just brought to uh, the harbor last train session I played this game. Uh, filled with alcohol. And we just brought it over uh, based on the different tracks that it's saying. So like now we get to go bring this over to Gulf 6 Siding. Um, drop off that, uh, drop off these select cars, go to another one, drop off these cars that are deciding, uh, and break the train down, and once we finish that, uh, then we bring it over to the validator, and we get about 2200 bucks, uh, or $22,000, rather, for, uh, completing the shunting mission. So, that is what we are working on right now. Um, so let's see, we are all linked up, we're ready to go. And you should be able to send it straight on back, basically. Uh, I didn't take the brakes off, that would be helpful. Let's go. Can start moving again. Yeah, I like it. It's pretty cool. So, like, you have, uh, so I have the large locomotive for mainly for its weight hauling capacity. Uh, it's the strongest locomotive in the game, so you can really haul some long and heavy stuff. And then I have a smaller diesel hydraulic locomotive um, to help out. It has a nice uh, load carrying capacity, but it also can be controlled by the remote control that I, my character has. So I can do shunting operations and control the locomotive uh, anywhere in the yard pretty much. Um, so I can go all the way down to the end of the train and, and control it uh, if I need to get off and do like switching of sidings and stuff like that, which I think I needed to do... Oh no, we're good. Okay. How's our queen doing? She's doing fantastic. Uh, pretty sure she's hanging around and floating in chat. Um, I know she's also going to bed, so... Um, but yeah, she's doing she's doing wonderful. We had a, a nice weekend together. Uh, I'm sure you already know because I kind of enlightened you a bit on it uh, when we last spoke. So, so, so yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, everything is going pretty well. Um, I went and sat down for a job promotion uh, interview yesterday that went pretty dang well, I believe. 
so looking forward to, to getting that promotion. It's mostly just a title change um, and some and a pay bump so for the same responsibilities, which is fine and hunky-dory with me. Uh, I'm always looking to strive and keep learning things and I'll keep fixing things. Yeah, it's, it's a promotion. Um, I'd get like a 10% pay bump and I guess a higher ranking within uh, just title wise. It's a it's a promotion title wise. Yeah, so it should be pretty cool. I think it's one of the last pay tiers that allows overtime, or I think there's one more above it. I can't remember off the top of my head. I have to look at the pay scales again. Um, because once I go above a certain tier, uh, position-wise, it goes from overtime uh, to comp time, where instead of just getting money uh, from doing overtime work, instead you're getting just paid time off, um, stacking up in your bank. So sometimes it's a bit more lucrative to just really ride out. Uh, we're going the right way? We are. Uh, sometimes it's a lot better to just ride it out and take the overtime as long as possible is you can make a shit ton of money and then once you're good to just chill and relax and take extended vacations and stuff like that then you take the comp uh, you move up to the comp tier comp time tiers so it's pretty cool it's nice having like an actual progression system to work with the last few places uh, I've been at have been kind of rough the uh, just advancement wise, no, we're well, not. Well, they didn't really have very clear pictures advancement wise. Um, one of the places I used to work at was UPS, and I was part of their technical team. Um, and basically, that was I was a technician, and that was basically it. If I wanted to do anything else, then I get to be like a senior technician, which is basically just a title change. If I wanted to move even further up, then I would have to go. Uh, second. Six sighting. Gotta go over one more. Um, I would have to move up to supervisor position, but I could only move to supervisor if my supervisor moved up, which doesn't happen very often. And the supervisor only moves up if another supervisor opens, or like a manager moves up. So it's very locked in corporate wise. Um, so it is what it is um, but I'm liking where I'm at a lot more government wise is there something already in shit there is um, fuck will do will do Uh, when am I gonna do this? I guess pull all the way forward and then back in? Oh, golf, right? Yeah. That's fucking six Sierra. Six Sierra, I'm gonna be dumping a lot of car. Yeah, I gotta just back in. Ugh. No, no, that's throttle. Breaks off and let's back it up. Free food to make it even better. Yeah, that'd be fun. I enjoy the meal plan things that I do presently, or the the meal prep system I have. Um, so you got promoted on a senior level. Yeah, sort of. Um, I'll be going from like a junior level to like associate level. Either way, it's like a step up. Uh, are you well and soon running your own business? I don't know if I want to run. Well, like I do side gigs. Um, like, I help people out in my off time and stuff like that. Um, Computer-wise, are doing camera installations, stuff like that. Um, or train break. There we are. Okay. Pull it back around. Bring her forward. Just...
get on. Oh, I'm glad it. How far will this end up going? We're going to go through 5 India. It's 1, 2, 3, 4. It's 10 cars. I'm going to be dropping off 10 cars into this siding. And I'm going to end up having to pull forward. Back through a siding again. to do some weird stuff to make this work. Oh, holy crap, this lighting is long. Okay, I might have actually been able to... No, I gotta back it in. You know, you should try different games like Madison? What is Madison? Cycle Frontier. Oh, okay. Any descriptions for those games? So, like, what are what are they about ultimately? Get off here. Get this guy over. Uh, Madison is probably the scariest game. Oh, that's right. I remember you were saying, like, spooky horror games and stuff. Uh, Cycles FPS survival game, and very cool. Interesting. Alright, well, I'll add it to my list to check out and see, uh, see what all goes on with it. I know October's coming up, so it could be fun to play some spooky games. I might try to go into Phasmophobia again. Haven't played that in a hot minute. Uh, I used to go really hard into it, but I think the novelty kind of worn off. Um, I haven't been tracking like their updates or anything as of late, so I'm not sure what they've been up to. Uh, I'll try to give it a whirl and see, uh, see what happens. Oh, too much bright, too much bright, too much bright. Come on. Keep creeping, keep creeping, keep creeping, keep creeping. Ah, uh, shit, too much bright. Come on, just a little bit more. Just a skosh. Get past this line. How was that? Well, someone's working in the shop. Let go. Train break. Apply. Throw it more wares. Right. Let's kick it backwards. Keep track of where I need to get this off from. So, let's see. 842, it's like down here in this section of blues. 75, 77, 86, 42. Another jump on moving rail stock, by the way, in real life. Unless you want your legs to get uh, chopped off. Let's see what's going to happen over here. Mm -hmm. A little bit more. We don't want to smack into that stock, though. Somehow we're coming in. We might not actually hit it. The 
first switch, we just gotta get past a few more switches, so we're gonna be pushing it for a while. Gently, gently. In fact, those cars aren't even locked up at all either. So this guy's gonna smack into that one and then need to get pushed back anyway after a turn. It's gonna suck if there's like a mission to do shunting to link this to to grab just this individual flatbed and link it up to some other train. That would suck. I can feel it in my bones, it's probably one. Yep. And into it. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. Get it to where the front of this guy clears. Close enough, really. Just fine. Thank you for the stretch. Second. Two. And 42. Good deal. Uh, up, 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 uh, all the way to 481. Guys, next. That's oh, so the very end one. Okay. Uh, hope the next stream will be with Cycle Frontier. Possibly, yeah. I can. I'll check it out and see what's going on with it. Um. Uh, and uh, we can add that to the docket for when uh, I try to see what's going on. Delta One Sierra. There's no way for me to back it that way. We have to back it like all the way to C. So. Let's go ahead and basically just pull up. No, nope, not you. No, drop the brake, we got the reverser. And send it forward. We should basically just wait at this switch so that we can clear the area. We can go back through the siding and take care of that. This plus it's a lot less mass, so it's easier to move the train around. Come break on. That sucker around. Works. Any favorite shows? Well, there's a lot of them. Um. Some of them are old, some of them are new. Um, let's see. 
favorite shows. Avatar The Last Airbender was pretty great. Um, that's one of the goaded ones. Uh, there's a whole bunch of Nickelodeon and Disney shows that I was really a friend, fan of, like Danny Phantom and Texas of the Laboratory and Kids Next Door and all those kinds of ones. Um, Game of Thrones is pretty sick. Uh, last season or two was, uh, I guess depending on who you are, either pretty cool or really fucking rough. Um, I'm of the latter camp. Uh, House of the Dragon's been pretty neat. Uh, that season should be coming out pretty soon. I believe. Um, they're doing filming and stuff, but that's gonna go through post-production, so it'll still take a while. Uh, I don't like season 8 of Game of Thrones. Yeah, it's... It was rough. It was really rough. Uh, Breaking Brad's pretty awesome. Uh, I watched that whole thing... Uh, I didn't watch it when all the hype was going on for it, um, but I did manage to go through that entire show uh, in like the span of like a couple weeks, maybe, um, maybe like a year or two ago. I mean, she just went through the entire thing, uh, and it was fantastic. So that was awesome. Uh, the boys is pretty cool. That season, next season, should be coming soon. Uh, they're also doing Gen V. A little spin off TV show thing as well, of like the university stuff. Um, hmm. Severance is pretty good. Got a lot of stuff like in my Plex library, stuff that I've seen, and then stuff that I need to get around to seeing uh, that friends have been watching. There's a bunch of stuff in there. Yeah, The Boys is pretty cool. Uh, it's like three seasons now, and then there should be a fourth one coming soon. Gonna miss Henry Cavill in The Witcher? Yeah, that's... That's rough. Great freaking casting choice, and someone who actually cares about the source material and stuff. And Yeah, I don't know. It is what it is, you know. What we're doing right now is uh, we're trying to get our train positioned in a way that makes sense uh, to drop off the remaining cars that we have in the Delta One siding. So we started in Gulf here, and we're backing up. Then we're backing up, and we're going to come down this way and back in, come forward, and then back, back into the, into Delta. So it's kind of just a big, big, a little swooping maneuver that we're doing to try to back these cars in. Uh, and then it should be done. Just ride this guy out, and then this shunting mission is more alcohol. It's sitting on Delta 4 India. And then we're unloading that and then bringing it over a couple different places, it looks like. Joining up on Delta 5 siding, it looks like, as well. Or picking that up from Delta 4 India. Okay. So we're going to, we're going to once we do drop into Delta, we're going to end up picking up this next order anyway. Cruising, keep cruising. If we pass the switch, we're already past the switch. Keep going past the Y. Uh, and a silly goose. Alright. Uh, back. All the way up. 
because we need to go out this way. And back into anything important? I don't think we are. Yeah, we just came from Keelan, so we're not going to run into anything. Casually jumping over train stock like he said not to do. Alright. Let's dive past here. off and send it back forward. We'll give it some gas and get it moving through. Switch up here. That way, once the train goes past, we'll flip it and send it backwards. Ba, 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 ba. Oops. The other train I linked up because I'm a goober. Search the world over with the hydrate. Thank you, sweets. Make sure I'm staying on it. <laughs> Wonderful. All right. Come on up and undo break. Send it reverse. Could have been far enough to go straight down this way now. Indeed. Alright. And is Delta... set? It should be... well, it's going back towards golf, but we're pointing in the right direction. We're going to Delta 1 siding. Delta 1, coming from the north, it's going to be 4 to the left. Send this puppy along. Delta, that's the first one to the left, and then there's going to be two more. Two more to get to one Sierra. Are you back? No worries, Hannah. We'll be here.
Listening to the birds in the background is pretty cool. I can actually kind of... can almost think I can identify some of them. Not gonna lie, this reminds me of Barbie Horse Adventures PC game. Similar sound effects? Yeah, that's fair. Also, hi, sweets. <laughs> Hope your evening is going well. But yeah, some of the background sounds, they got birds and stuff. I can imagine it's very reminiscent. Couldn't sleep. Yeah, that's fair, dear. Long day, as long as you enjoy your blanket cocoon. We are coming in a little hot. You're right. Not a very long sighting, I don't think. Eh. Damage. You progress into expert in this game, hmm? I like the ghost train to you as you stand in front. Yeah. Oh shit. Expert, he says. Uh. Oh! Oh! Like a glove. I like the ghost train view as you stand in the front. Yeah, it's fun. Well, I'm standing on the end of it so I can watch to make sure I don't smack into anything. Uh, in fact, I can push it further back. Bro, you'd like a vegetable character? You have no hands? Yeah. I don't know what to tell you about that one. <laughs> Yeah, it's just magic floating. Well, technically this game, uh, if you play it in VR, you'd have hands in VR to, like, grip onto things uh, via your VR controllers and stuff. So that exists. Um, far enough. Yeah, that works. Please stop. Please stop. Please stop, don't push that any further. Thank you. Uh, yeah, whatever. Come. Brakes on. Turn off the brake cylinders. Go. Voila. That's all she wrote. Uh, so let's go and haul ass to the station manager's office and turn in that order. Get some cash. Cool. And we go next. Now I'm going into your hand. Yeah. Have a good time, manager. Thanks, Serge. Thanks, sweetheart. I hope you get to sleep soon, and I hope you have a good rest of your night. Hope everything goes well, sweetie. Drop offs. Why not? For you, you're an echo. It's like, um, we're already in Delta, so maybe we'll go grab this guy. There she is, Delta Four India. Forward, sir. Guy here, we're already set up on that rail. Cool.
go. Ride it on backwards and slap on into these guys back here. Mm. And where are those? We're gonna try the reloading, try the one sighting. Back to Delta 5. So, kind of all over the freaking place. But ultimately, we're going to be going to Charlie to unload. So. Don't be too crazy, because we've already kind of done it before. So we're going to pull out, pull all the way forward, and then back in. Unload, pull back, forward, drop off in a different one, and then come out and back in. Something like that, yeah. Seven. Six on four at the end. Cool. Onwards to Charlie Three. Up, but that's okay, I get it. It's a bit of weight to, to pull behind us here. Alright. So we'll pull that all the way back forward again. Back in to Charlie 3 loading. Unload it. Pull back forward, drop it in on Charlie 1. And then drop the last car into uh, Delta again. Pretty straightforward. Nothing too crazy about it, really. at some point? I guess we did. Or I didn't turn the lights on on this one, I turned the lights on on the others. Speaking of which, uh... Get through intersections. Right. Okay, let me get a trick on the air train. I feel like I left that on. Nope, they got. Nope, that's not that's so good. We're off. Okay. Deal. Bring it out. There it is. It's coming. It's on the way.
bit here. some massive thunderstorms going on outside. But it shouldn't be too crazy. switch. And we just wait for it to come around. Brakes and some spunk back the way we came. Good switch wise, so just pull all the way back through. A little bigger than it. Details are pretty cool. Be pretty cool. by the unloader here.
should be pretty far enough. Oh my god. Jeez. be pulling it up and then back into curly ones here. Yes, it's going to be pulling the train all the way back forward and we're going to be backing it up through this siding switch here. So let's have it send it all the way forward. Siding there, some flatbeds. That shouldn't be the hardest thing in the world to deal with. Decoupling at um, Charlie two six one. So we just wait here for two six one to show up to be able to just cut it off. at the end here. Yeah. Here. Oh, one more. It's gonna be this guy here. Once this guy gets past that switch. Decouple it and pull back four, drop off the last car and that'll be it for that one. Sense. All right, all we got left is just the one. Put it in here because it's raining. All right, should be all set. We'll send it back forward. Just the one car, we're gonna pull it all the way back forward and then back in to Delta. Where is 
switch for this uh, antenna on the left. back. It's going to be 5 Delta 5 Sierra. Too cool. Delta 5. Let's see. It's going to be left, right, right. Must be a pain in the ass for traffic with the uh, the gates down, like permanently in the game. It'd be interesting if they could actually animate those to to make sense, but I suppose uh, that's a resources problem. Uh, right. Get there. Interesting lighting. Alright, and then another right. Very side siding, of course there's another flatbed. Hanging out. Sit in the siding, that's all it needs to do. Beautiful. Alright. Shut the brake on for it, that'd be helpful. Couple, sorry, train. Is properly stacked up. Right over. Give it about. Alright. Picked up 17 grand. Not too bad. Uh, Alright. So let's try to do. I suppose the one more shunter. Uh, should only take about 30. What is it? Supposedly 30 minutes. It's just one drop off. We grab it from Echo 9, drop it off in Charlie, and then we also drop it off in Delta 5, where we just drop the rest of this stuff off at. And then. 
We deliver gasoline to City Southwest. That sounds like it could be a fun one to... Is there anything else to City Southwest? Uh... I don't think there's anything else to City Southwest. Oh, don't we? What are you? Those two. Cool. Alright. So we have our plans set up for a while. Uh, so let's see. How are we going to get to Echo? Echo 9 India, right? Echo 9 India. Alright, we're gonna pull forward. Yeah, basically just rip it all the way forward again and then uh, Echo 9 India. Come all the way back through. We'll come through east from, uh, I guess, west to east. And then back in. And then push it all the way through. Yep, that will do it. That will do it. Cool. Alright. So that means... We need to send it. shoving that thing along with a bunch of other fuel into uh, into that siding when we're done with this train. It's our cash stack look at mine. 162. We're earning it back. That's not too shabby. $162,000 in the wallet. Bottle back. Good to pretty much just send it through all of these here. I just don't want to derail by going too quickly. Supposed to do the switches and everything. That's already set, so we should be good there. Go through that guy. Flicker. Power flicker. Just like that. That's what it's like at my house right now. It's thundering and going crazy. Ooh, damn. Come here, sir. Come back. Exactly like that. Holy crap. Oh. Power's having a moment. Luckily, we have battery backups on basically everything here. Holy crap. Look at it. Massive storm. Holy shit. 
Those gimples from in, like, IRL weather. That'd be wild. Get in the cab, because good lord. Alright, there we go. We're going to scream through east to west, or west to east rather, and then back into the slot, grab the train. Back it up to Charlie 3 loading. Unload it and then slap it back into uh, I suppose wherever it needs to go. where the hell we're going. Nine India, I believe. Oh fuck, where am I going? Oh fuck. That must have been set from the last time I was coming through. Holy shit. Well, that could have been bad. Anyway. Order again. Good nine India. So yeah, that's our order there. And then let's just fucking flew into. Uh, yeah. Alright, let's back it up. straight down the middle, down an unoccupied siding, like Charlie, or uh, Echo 6 rather, yeah, this middle, right down there. There we go. Things to do. Rip it, rip it, rip it. side entrance. Okay, 
see a little bit better. All right. Passing the point of deciding makes sense. And we'll throw a whole crap ton of train brake on there. Actually, wait. This train brake, we need to go a little bit more forward. Oh, I might have just barely cleared it. Yeah, we're good, actually. be lined up and set to pull right in to the siding that we're needing. We are not. There we go. That's what we need. Okay. you that 11 outbound is uh, the gasoline that we're going to be taking on the next guy. Sandy check here real quick. 718. 482. Good deal. Alright. In fact, we'll go just right on the end of it. Um, some power and send it. Sending it straight off into Charlie 3 loading. Good to go. Rip it, baby, rip it. Let's go. We can give it a bit more juice and try to send it more. good. Basically just send it all the way in and through. Yeah, it should be such to send it basically all the way straight through. Oh. <laughs> oh. 
that shoulder is super screwed. Ugh. to unload this one. Freaking flying in here. Is it enough? Is that guy pushed back enough? Maybe. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, baby, baby. That was very close. Oh my getting Steam message. Oh. Um, I don't think I have that game. Good and within the siding. Right. I'm going to go Delta Five Sierra. I can turn off the wipers. Delta 5 Sierra. Basically forward and back again. All right. Forward and back. Yeah. Good. Drop the brake. Give it some hut spawn. Come on. in here. There we go. Oh, fuck! Ah, uh, son of a... Shit. Damn it. I knew that was too close. Uh, for God's sakes. Uh, that's annoying. Uh, well. Well, shit. Am I gonna end up just continuing to pull the train through? How long is it? It is a long boy, so it will get pulled for a long time if I don't fix this. Uh, shit. Crap, well. Back up. And we back up. going to hurt a lot. At least they're empty alcohol cars, so they don't have fuel or anything explosive in them. At the same time, jeez. Was now I need to grab like a shunter or something to send all that properly back. 
into place. Uh, yeah, yeah. Rail. Two. Over. This guy's still railed, right? This guy's still on the tracks, so if anything, you just gotta shunt the one engine. Hi. Hi, buddy. Uh, you over. This guy forward, shunt to the back. Baby freaking this baby freaking moves, holy crap. Okay. Uh oh god, way too fast. This guy, so it doesn't roll away into the abyss. Do the brake so that way we can push it back. Brake on you. Sound. Okay. Yeah, should be fine. We good. So now we can rip it right on back.
Just slam it right on back, basically, into the little siding there. Go grab the main train and bring it back around to unload. Things got good brakes. I missed the little DE too. It's very responsive, very light. It's a little siding, turn it off, and put it to sleep. And grab the main train again and go back to working on that. and everything to think but I'm up for your service. Alright. You know, you. going backwards. Oh, it's because I'm a moron. Got it. So... Good. Looks like it should be all right. This way. Backing into Delta 5. Yeah. Pull forward and then back it back in. Back into Delta 5. Sun coming up, oh, the moon's still there. Where's the smoke coming from? I think that first engine, yeah, that first car has some issues. We'll pay for it, ultimately.
see it yet, but we should be going down the right way. It looks like it's pointing to the right. Sierra. Frickin' thing into it, and we're gonna slam into the other cars that we left there. shove everything in that siding down. Need a little bit of break. Just a little bit of break. We don't come full bore into this thing. You need to push it all the way into the siding. to that flat bed in a second. Oh, 
Alright. We all sorted and ready to go. Ooh, Supposedly no fees. I call them nonsense. Yeah, see, we totally smacked up some some of the cars. Uh, let's not do the locomotives, though. Numbers growing. Actively running a tab uh, with that guy. So let's get this crap moving. Go 11, just like we thought. Golf 3. So which one do we want to do first? Uh, it's ultimately going city southwest, and then where's the other one? Also city southwest. City southwest, C2I, C3I. Apparently so we should be able to pull off either one. Yeah, we should be able to pull off either one. Yeah. Not the craziest thing in the world. some loads. take pathwise to get out of here and probably come out that way. Yeah, that actually probably works better departing out from the west. So let's back into golf, grab golf. Alright. Golf three outbound. Yeah, so we can totally back into golf over there. Grab that load, hold it forward, and then back into Echo, grab the gasoline, and then uh, get the whole shebang moving. Golf 3 outbound. Going through lines on you. 
almost three quarters. We're doing all right. The main hauler DE6 isn't hasn't been doing anything this entire time, so we should be set fuel wise when we actually get ready to go. That hurt. For some reason, I did not have control of that, even though I hit the brake button. Well. Back into eleven echo. See, there's an LED on the switch remote. That's cool. That's actually rather quite helpful. Should be able to pull this all the way forward. Switch over to the Echo Tracks. Make our departure westbound. Hey, going outside with mom for our checkups. The stream will be on Lurk. Have fun. Thanks, Hannah. Hope you have a good one. Hope everything works out well. 
Thanks for lurking. I appreciate you just hanging out with me. Basically, writes all the way down. Yeah. Writes all the way down. Disastrous again. Jeez, what the hell? Oh, I switched it properly already. We can, we can give it a little bit more than that. Come on. That's fun. They actually have like a properly modeled v, VW bug in here. <laughs> Realism. gasoline train. Yeah. 
Right. See you southwest. Here we come. Time to fire up the big engine. Westbound out of here. of these motors to get this sent. We were supposed to keep it right about 20 on the way on out and then it's going to be steep twisty mountain terrain on the way out especially up through here. But, uh, we should be able to handle it. We should be able to figure it out. Set up to leave. We are indeed set up to leave. Oh wow, there's a big old Blackhawk or something sitting right over there. So he picks up to like 30 kilometers an hour. Oh no, it's straight picks up to 50. Sweet. Okay. I'm really juicer on the way out then. Let's give it some gas and get the heck out of here. It's going to be a steep grade trying to get out. Up on the 40, that should be alright. 
Tons of fun gaming. Welcome on in. How many cars are you hauling? Right now, we are hauling. Let's see. We got the two, four, six, eight, uh, 12, 16, 20. We got 24 cars right now on a D6 and a DH4 combo uh, heading to City Southwest. We're bringing some, uh, what the heck is it, metal wise that we're bringing. Uh, electronics and uh, apparel and footwear and stuff, we're bringing all that. And then uh, some gasoline over to City Southwest. Quite a few tons. Uh, let's see, we got 350. Just over a thousand tons is what we're bringing right now over to City Southwest. Hopefully we can make it up this grade with that. Looks like we are bleeding speed just barely. So we'll try to give it some more oomph on the way out. But uh, but yeah, welcome on in. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're having a good evening or afternoon, day, morning, whatever time it is for you wherever you are in the world. I don't think we're ever going to freaking hit 40 at this rate unless the the grade levels out. Come on, baby. Yeah, thank you so much. Appreciate it. You come in just browsing the category or doing discover or just out of curiosity how you got in here. Running. Oh yeah, that DH4 is losing its friggin' mind back there. Uh, we still got a ways to go. We're gonna be making two lefts up at the Y. Try to give it, keep it within uh, the non-fire range would be good. Uh, you raved me a while back when I was streaming your derail. Figured I would stop in and watch. Oh, that's right. Hey. Well, appreciate the raid back, or uh, appreciate the watch back, rather. <laughs> Thanks for coming back on in. Yeah, I just got back into this game again. Um, I've been busy with life and work and vacation and stuff for the past month or two. Uh, so it's nice to try to carve out some time and, and sit back in and, and crack through it again. Just unlocked military base stuff. Uh, so I'll probably try to look for some uh, some halls that I'll be able to bring up that way. Uh, I guess there's only the one military base, and then you have to like I suppose you have to like back it in or something along that line. Uh, so I'll have to check it out. Same here, been busy as well. Yeah, it's just it just is what it is, you know. Nice to nice to come back and, and unwind with this. Machine factory has military also. Oh does it? Alright, well I'll have to uh I'll have to scope that out then. Cool cool cool. Come on, buddy, you can do it. You can do it. I know what's a pain in the ass. And the grade is still just keeping... Keeping at it. Go. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know you're getting warm. Don't worry about it. Get some sunrise coming up from the east there. So should have a nice, uh, a nice day run on over to City Southwest. Should be good. But uh, but yeah. For uh, if I didn't really introduce myself before, I'm Azure Sea Knight. Um, 
I'm just like a variety game streamer. Just kind of hang out and just play whatever really fits my fancy. Uh, what's the most you've pulled out of Harbor and Bay? Um, I want to say it's probably this, actually. This about 1,000, uh, 1,100 ton train out. I know I probably have pulled longer. I think I did like a diesel run, like two long diesel runs all the way up to, uh, I want to say up to like food, or up, up to like machine factory or something like that. Uh, in one of my previous sessions, that may have been like crazy, stupid long. Um, I linked together two D6s and then like a D2 or something. Oh no, it was like something to food factory and I got like stuck in the bowl and I had to kind of like back and forth to get enough momentum and try to get out and eventually I think I ended up derailing whatever train it was I had. Uh, oh, I think it was like iron, like a s s scrap metal for the steel mill and then something else for food and harbor, or the food factory rather. So. Yeah, all over the place. <laughs> Be good at this speed. That first hill coming by the wire is rough. Yeah. Yeah, it's a tight one. Oh yeah, yeah. That all this nonsense up here is just ridiculous. Like I couldn't even pull. I think I had a D two and a D six linked together to try to pull it, and I just didn't have the mustard for it and ended up sliding backwards so then I like tried to run it back and push it back up the way run out of mustard again and then try to like slam it freaking forward and I still didn't have enough power for it so I swapped out the DE2 with a DH4 uh, I think I just like squeaked it out third kilometer an hour or two so no one them. yeah it's freaking rough Really, really rough. Will we set appropriately with this Y? We are. Yeah, we're good. Okay. Speed looking like we can go up to 70. Right. Yeah, serious grade in front of us. To try to pick it back up again. Give it some power to work with. Yeah, that whole that whole little stretch is freaking rough. Baby, come on, come on, come on. Baby, come on. We are slowly building speed, so that's great. We're getting there. We are pretty much cleared all the way until we get to uh, until we get to the junction just before steel mill. Then we're gonna rip it through farm and oil well central, and then over to city southwest. Should be good. I crawled 181 cars out of harbor last go around and it was bad. Got down to three miles per hour sanding in the rain. Holy crap, dude. That is wild. 181 cars. Just that on its own is crazy. But then like rain on top of it too. Rain is rough. I haven't even dumped so much sand just to try to get traction going. Recently gaining some momentum now, it's leveling out. Keep it coming, buddy, keep it coming. Just 
respectable. Yeah, that's wild, man. Absolutely wild. How long have you been playing Derail Valley? Uh, tons of fun. Let's see. 2D6s with a D2 trailing for switching, then 2D6s in the middle with a D2 acting in. Uh, acting as remote to control the mid locomotives and a caboose. Holy crap. So you're running friggin' 4D6s and then 2D2s. Holy crap. That is intense. Since July, okay. Yeah, I started right about that time too. I saw someone else playing it and I saw the, uh, they were doing it in VR, and I was like, alright, well, that's cool. I wasn't planning on doing it in VR. I figured I would just do standard keyboard and mouse. Um, the DE2s are offline. Yeah, I figure they're not actually providing any any pulling power. It's just the DE6s cranking it. Good god, that is a lot of friggin' pulling power, though, with the four DE6s. That's probably stupid expensive. Ooh. Excuse me. Open it down at a nice clip. Get some more juice as we uh, roll down here. We're gonna be going downhill grade. Oh, that's right, yeah. So if anything, we can probably let it kind of get away from us a bit. Make the run a little bit quicker. I don't really make any money on it, I just do it streaming. Oh yeah, I didn't really mean like in real life money, I just spent like the in-game currency to take a lot of freaking money like fuel-wise and everything to make that happen. Uh, took two days just to build it and then block the train together? Yeah, I bet. A train that freaking long. And you're pulling out of harbor. Okay. So you just assembled a whole shit ton of things. Break about even after. Break about even after fuel. Jeez. Hmm. Very cool. How many orders did that end up being ultimately? Probably like five or six. I have no idea how many orders you can hold max. We're going up on that curve. Check the dynamic brake on it. It was all you can fit in storage and on the bottom? Oh god. Uh, traction brake it. That's nuts, dude. That is absolutely nuts. Coming up on another junction that we're gonna be looking at the Y coming up here in a bit. Downgrade has a downhill slope a little bit. And I made them an order for set out and location. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that takes a lot of planning. 
I'm content with just doing like the two freaking, doing like just two concurrent orders at a time. And just linking up the trains in the order that makes sense to drop them off at their different locations. Soon here in a bit. Still works. Okay. Probably going to need to slow down before we go through this Y, so I will start tossing the brake on. gaining speed. Still gaining. Let's throw some proper brakes on it. Oh god. Fifty K through the Y, yeah. It's going a little bit over that. But we should be alright. Now the rest of that goes off the rails. All right. Uh, let's see. We're coming up on the farm here in a little bit. Maybe we'll just scream right on through. Flip through at about 50, 60, and yeah, we should be okay. Go ahead and make on there again, just to kind of help take some of the speed off a bit. Sightings. It's the, it's the locomotive that's here. Maybe like one of the little steamers. A little shunter, maybe. I think I saw it, it was like the DM. That's a truck. I have no idea what locomotive was, was uh, there. Oh well, that's alright. Not too worried about it. Let's see. Going up uh, 90. Oil well. Forty, give it some power. Result should it be cleared through the whole shebang. Is there really nothing waiting in... Okay, I was gonna say. <laughs> Is there really nothing in the oil yard? It just took a little bit for all of it to pop in. I love the physics of how they did the game. Yeah, me too. That's one of the very... I mean, how else are you gonna have a train game without, like, having... a really sick physics... implementation? 
Is that like a little six? Oh no, there's a D6 sitting over there. That's another little D6. Cute. Everything has like everything has like a nice weight to it. It's really nice. Coming up on that Y eventually. I have to put AAR style couplers at some point. What are those exactly, out of curiosity? Like the uh like that kind of guy? Yeah, okay. That's what I figured. Cause these are more like uh these are more like British couplers, right? That have the well I guess they they all have like the stops on them, but then throwing the hooks over and, and all that jazz. Yes, it does longer the trains, the slack gets more aggressive too. Yeah, 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 yeah. Old school drawbar. Gotcha. Little quick through here. But we should be okay. Uh, we're coming up on a 30 though, so let's dynamic break the crap out of it. Try to get under that. Sure it's going to drop down to three again at some point. So we'll just let it coast and ride. Just let it ride. And then we're going to be pulling all the way through anyway. We're going to be pulling all the way through to go to the northeast and then the back are in. To uh, Charlie to India and Charlie three India. Pick up there, order. Grab the threes, the middle. Grab the twos, the side. Well, now we got the gas on the end. So if anything, I back into Charlie three, drop off the gasoline. Pull back forward and back into Charlie 2, drop off the rest. Easy peasy. Uh, oh, it's three over to the to the right side. Good there, good there. Good there. Pick it up a little bit. Because it's going to be a while. Let's so bring this guy in. I have to bring the whole entire train through City Southwest and then back it up into, uh, into the Charlie sidings. Pretty sure there's a 30. Oh no, it keeps to a 50. That's fine. Oh yeah, no, there's the 30. I like City Southwest. The most easy set out, except A3 track, I think it is. Oh yeah, A3 is a pain in the ass. Well. Oh. 
Yeah, it's a bit of a pain in the ass. Now we wait. Oh yeah, A1S is the true pain in the ass. Oh my god. Yeah, that's that's just silly. Alright, breaks up. Further, a little bit further. There we are. Slap the brake on there. The wheels passed. Write it on in. We have a little bit of slip going on because it's starting to roll back on its own. Slack out. Run to the right, so we good there. Let it coast because it's already going to have a bunch of momentum coming back down the hill. Oh, they got a little D2 sitting in the in the shed. Man. Okay. Looks like we should be okay to just send the whole. Pull the sucker straight back. Have you tried kicking yet? I have not. I know the concept of it. Could be super fun. Uh, but I have yet to do it. I'm a little bit too cautious for it. Send it. Six, five, four, three. She's out to the other side. Free India. Power and just freaking send it in here. You can bleed the cars off to release the brakes and kick them. I love running RCO and kicking. Okay. Oh, fuck. Don't go that way. Straight on. Stand.
go. The it. I did fuck it. Okay. There we past the siding? Yeah, it did. It's okay. It is what it is. Got that right? Pretty sure I'm trying to Two India. Yeah, should be good. Right on back. Should be all set. Pop on over to the station office real quick. New cars found. Blah, 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 blah. Some cars are missing from the track, bringing them in up. I can at least do this one, right? Um, cars found. Yes, okay. Ah!
Oh man, at least the one's done. Yeah. Yeah, at least the one's done, so what the frick? Uh, you're not happy with that one. Alright, whatever. Fine. They have to get them within the signs of the trap. Oh. That's fair. Yeah, so push these guys back and then pull the other ones forward. Just didn't do it hard enough. Ah! Oh, that might have been a derailleur. That wasn't very happy, was it? Shoving, keep shoving, keep shoving. Oh yeah, I see. It's because I'm blocking the other the other siding. Yeah, that's my bad. Go. Slam it back in, well, not necessarily slam it back into the freaking go gas cars, but ever so gently. Probably get there on its own. Yeah, it'll get there on its own. It's happy. It's content. With that. There we go. 110 grand. Holy crap. Cool. Deal. You'll love to see it. 
It's a cash deck back for 294th grand. We'd love to see it. All right. Uh, we got these because we mucked up on the frames. So there's 27 grand. Yeah, let's go. Service this. Okay. There's just this little side guy, yeah. So let's bring our let's bring it in for servicing. Well we can do it ourselves and it's significantly cheaper. Uh, let's see. Some of the old school switch engines in the United States used to have an auto coupler and uncouple features. Some of the switchers I worked on still some have some of the electrical breaker for Oh, that's pretty cool. Okay. Huh. Yeah, that's really neat. Or you know. I've been very interested in trains and, and all that jazz since like I was a I was a kid, so Learning more and more about it is super fun. Do I think I'll ever get to it in my lifetime? Not really. But uh, just appreciating different aspects of life and uh, different professions and how things uh, how things work is really cool. Multi-truck drifting. Oh god. Yep, multi-truck drifting. We love to see. Okay. Lamal. <laughs> Throw the switch over. Go. Some quiet in here, yeah? Yeah, we're good there. Okay. Back it in. Good. Just gotta get in proximity. Slide it on back. Just barely.
everything looks good. All self-serviced, all sorted out. Just a little over 23 grand. Bippity bobbity boo, thank you so very much. There we are. And let's go take a pop over to station here real quick and see if there's anything worthwhile doing out of here. It's probably like just two shunting missions that uh for what we just brought basically. Which we can hold on to. And then there's a steel load that needs to leave. Uh, but, uh, do drop box for the gasoline. Hmm. Well, not sure. We'll do the shunting for the one that we just brought in, and then let's see. Unload six trillion, and then it's alpha three, trillion four. That's not that bad. Alpha three. So we pull before we whack it and pull back forward. Okay, that's not too crazy. I can live with that. Um. They're all still on, we're good there. Let's start. Shoot the brakes on on this guy. It's off. That would be in a pain in the ass. Oh, it would help if the train brake was off, huh? <laughs> that would help. We'll do this one shunting, break apart this gasoline train that we just brought, and then, uh, and then I think that will do the stream. It's almost midnight, so that should be a pretty decent time to wrap it up. back. Good.
going up to it forward Entire freaking train all the way through. Let it go, do its thing. Get there eventually. Sorry. Going, bud. Go. Gotta do is clear these points. Go. Excuse me. It's just getting late on my side. <laughs> on, let's get going. Come on, come on, come on. Question is going to be where is the station control? It's right there. I 
the ring supposedly to keep back on the sucker up. Keep coming, keep coming, keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. How much further back do you need to freaking go, my guy? There's not much room left for it to back up to. Should be able to bring it all the way forward. Drop the first part off at A3 Sierra. Baby, go. Go, oh, baby, go, baby, go, baby, go. It's this real quick, he's driving me crazy. Quite as washed out.
on in. Set up and lined up. Good. Right back, and we are going to Charlie Four Sierra. Exciting right now.
Sure, should be right. Fifty-three gram. Let's go, baby. It's not like the little guy, but that's okay. It is what it is. And that'll do it. that will do the game uh for me tonight thank you guys so much for coming around and hanging out and lurking and watching and everything like that really greatly appreciate you uh but yeah that was that uh that was, that was a pretty cool deal nice coming back into trains and everything like that um as far as future stream plans go um We'll probably stream... I'm not sure what day this week. Uh, maybe a Thursday or a Friday. I'm not exactly sure. Um, but I'd like to try to stream something again this week. Whether it be uh, this game or uh, Cycle Frontier, I think, is what uh, Hannah was talking about. Let me go and try to check that out right now. Let's see. Uh, uh, it's like it released last year. And it's free to play. And it's like a PvP VE traction shooter. Hmm. It really seems interesting. I'm sure we can give it a crack at it and see what happens. Uh, but uh, but yeah, that'll do it for me. Thank you guys so much for coming around. Uh, thank you for those who follow, like, subscribe, all that jazz. Uh, I'm clearly tired. Um, what we're going to do is we will go ahead and post up my... Uh, we'll go right into all my friends, Rainy Renton. Uh, she's doing a uh, week-long subathon right now. Uh that support's appreciated. She's really cool. She's a VTuber. Um, I'm, I think right now... What's she doing? Uh, right now she's playing Lives of P Lies of P. It looks like... Uh, it looks like she's got Nick with her too. So um, so we'll go ahead and send it on over their way. Uh, if you'd like, you can copy the raid message here. Yep, welcome, Azure. Uh, you can copy the raid message there and send it on in there when we get over. Um, I don't know. If not, it is what it is. Uh, thank you guys so much for coming around. I hope you're safe, happy, healthy, wherever you are in the world. And, uh, catch you guys in the next one. Peace.